Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah wa ala alihi wa sabi ajma'in ashadu wa la ilaha illallah ashadu wa muhammadin abduhu wa rasul wa salam alaikum wa rahmatullah Alhamdulillah, we say thanks to Allah because He is the one who gives us what we need and we say that Allah is the creator, the sustainer, the provider and we have no provision except that it comes from the one only provider and who is the provider? Well, in the Arabic language, he is Rizq, al Rizq, and our provision Rizq comes from al Rizq. It's their related words. And whenever we need anything, we can say Ya Rizq, Oh the Provider, Oh the Provider. I need, I need, I need. And whenever we talk straight to him, with no intercession, no statues, no images, no people in between us. We're talking directly to him. He likes this and he will provide for us. He is our only provider. So whatever we need, we ask from him. Now, this is a very simple understanding, but sometimes we need to be reminded about it. Whether someone is a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim, we all know there's one God and we all know that he's the one we should turn to when we need anything. And we should call upon him and say, O Allah, which we say in Arabic, Allah, O Razak, we need, we need, we need. Because we're needy. But we only want to be beggars in front of the one who has all the wealth. Allah is the one having all the wealth. Al Ghani. And He is the one who provides. Al Razak. So what are some of the reminders? Well, just look around you and see. Do you see the birds? Have you ever thought about a bird? One morning, a doctor who is an upper respiratory specialist, a good friend of mine, he and I had just come from the mosque. We had just prayed the Fajr morning prayer together, and we were sitting together talking outside my home and talking about this subject. Now, he's up a respiratory specialist. He knows a lot about how you breathe, a lot about how human beings are. And he was talking about how important is our breath. He was talking about who is the one who even gives you your breath is Almighty Allah. And then he said, do you hear it? I said, hear what? He said, listen. I said, I can't hear anything because the birds are too loud. He said, that's what I'm asking you to listen to. I'm asking you, do you hear the birds? I said, I can't hear anything else by my house. We had this big, huge tree, and the birds like to come there every morning. And I was saying, I'm complaining about these birds every morning. They're making all this noise. They come here and they make this noise. He said, no, they don't. I said, what? I lived here a long time. I know they do. He said, no, they didn't just come here. They spent the night here. I said, yeah, you're right. Uh, that's right, they do come at night. I forgot about that. He said, I know that. You see, these birds, each of those birds, he has to eat in one day his whole body weight. I said, what? He said, a bird, they don't weigh very much, by the way. That's how they can fly. If it was like me, my wings would have to be as long as a city block to get me off the ground. <laughs> But he said, these birds, they have to eat their own body weight every day. And that's how they stay alive. I said, I didn't know that. He said, now pay attention. He said, what do these birds do at night? Well, I knew that. At Maghrib time, when the sun goes down, I had seen the same kind of birds eating all over the pasture area out there. They were eating, and you would see their heads down, peck, 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 like this. Lots and lots of birds out there. He said, okay, what happens? I said, okay, just about the time I'm driving to the mosque to go pray my sunset prayer, these birds will go, hold their head up like this. He said, do you know what they're doing? I said, no, I don't know, but they stop eating, then they fly away. He said, do you see? You're starting to figure it out. I said, I'm not getting it. I said, well, then what happens? I said, well, they fly to this tree. Yep, and many other trees too. I said, I don't get it. He said, okay, what are they doing now? I said, they're making noise. I said, yeah. And he said to me, yes, they are. What are they doing? I said, they're making me crazy. 
He said, do you notice the sun is coming up? I said, yeah, I see it. He said, these birds are hungry, aren't they? I said, yeah, maybe they're making noise because they're hungry. He said, exactly. Can they see? I said, sure, we can all see. He said, so why don't they fly out and eat right now? Huh? I don't know. Well, they can see. Why don't they take off and go fly and, and eat? They can eat. It's right in front of them. Overnight, especially where I lived, the dew would come on the ground. The moisture would come on the ground. And so these worms would be coming up out of the ground. And so this is the best time of the day for these birds to go down there and get those worms. We even have an expression. Did you know it in English? The early bird gets the worm. So how come they're not flying out of the tree? They can see. He said, they won't fly out until the sun comes up. I said, well, I can see now. We can all see because it's like pre-dawn. He said, till that sun comes up a certain place, right above that, they won't fly. And he was right. They didn't fly. They waited. But they kept making this noise. He said, because they know that their risk, their provision is from Allah. They don't know where they're going to find their food. They have no idea and they have to eat their whole body weight in food. But still, they're not going to leave their perch until it's time. And the noise they're making, they're remembering Allah. They're thinking about Almighty God and they're asking Him for their provision, what they need. I said, are you sure? He said, that's what we were taught when we were growing up. And he said, I have no reason to doubt it. Consider this, as a human being, we don't need to eat our whole body weight every day. Not even the weight of one leg or one arm. Or even the weight of our head. We really don't need to eat very much in the way of weight at all. But look at the human being. When the sun goes down at night, we don't stop eating, we start eating. We eat twice. Maybe we'll eat when the sun's going down and then a late snack, won't we? Many of us. And as soon as we wake up in the morning, the first thing, I want to eat, I'm going to eat. Where's the refrigerator? Yes? But for the Muslim, it should be that we would consider this. When we wake up in the morning, if we just remember Allah a little bit, and ask for Allah, Al-Razak, the provider, for our provision, our rizq. And Allah provides for those birds every day. And they fill their stomachs. And when the sun goes down, they stop. And they begin to remember Allah again. They go to their place. And in this condition, all night long, this is how they stay, quiet, until the sun starts to come up and they begin praising Allah again and again they don't know where the risk will come from any more than we do. But if this bird can be an example to you and I to remember Allah, to ask from Allah, to go back to the provider, the one who created us, who is the one that gave us this life to start with, let's go to him and say, Oh Allah, Ya Razak, you are the provider. Help us, help us. And when we do that, then we'll be content and maybe we have a life that will raise us up above this that we're in now and we can soar with the birds in spirit at least. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Hu Aladi Ja'al Muslimin. The praise is only to Allah and He is the one who made us the Muslims. If you'd like to know more, visit our website www.guide us.tv guide us.tv until next time peace salam alaikum